Hello, my name is Mary Gardner and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Entomology at the Ohio Agricultural Research and Development Center. I'd like to talk to you about the Buckeye Lady Beetle Blitz. This Ohio-wide citizen network will help us collect and identify lady beetles across the state. These data will prove critical in the conservation of these beneficial species. Lady beetles are found in virtually every habitat in Ohio, including your own backyard. Some species are native to the U.S., while others are exotic, introduced species. Lady beetles are beneficial insects, which feed on plant pests such as aphids. In recent decades, we've witnessed an alarming decline in the abundance of several native lady beetle species. The loss of these species is a threat to our insect biodiversity and the pest control these species provide. The current state of native and exotic populations in Ohio is not known. That is where you come in. As a volunteer, you'll learn to collect and identify beetles and contribute data towards the conservation of these important species. As a volunteer, you will be provided with a sampling toolkit. Your toolkit should contain the following equipment. One step in fence post two yellow sticky card traps, a lady beetle identification card, sampling instructions, two data sheets, and prepaid mailing envelopes. Once you've received your Buckeye Blitz materials, you're ready to sample. The first step is finding a sampling site, which can be a food or flower garden of any size within your yard. Find the center of your garden space and secure your step-in fence post. Next, attach the sticky trap to the first and third hooks on the post using the twist ties. When you open the card, hold it from the outside edges because although the glue is not harmful, it is very sticky. If you get the glue on your hands, it will come off with soap and water. On day seven, return to your garden and collect the card. Your sticky trap is likely to be covered with a lot of different insects, but only a few will be lady beetles. Move to a place where you can examine the card carefully. Using the identification card, determine which lady beetles you have in your home garden. Record the data carefully on the data sheets. Be sure to note the position of the lady beetles on the sticky card diagram. Once you have collected all of your data, send the sticky trap with all the lady beetles attached and the data sheet to the address provided on the prepaid mailer. You will collect two samples, one early summer sample in mid to late June and another in mid to late August. First, we will check all identifications to determine if the materials provided helped you identify the lady beetles you found. Next, we will identify the other insects on the cards to see what types of pests and beneficial insects are found in Ohio gardens. Finally, all lady beetles will be removed from the cards for use in a genetic study examining the state of their populations in Ohio. Hi, we're here with Dr. Andy Michael. Andy is an assistant professor in the entomology department here at Ohio State. So Andy, I want to give our volunteers a little bit more information about what our plans are for their samples once they mail them back to us. Well, our interests are really looking at the DNA and trying to use DNA to determine which species are in population decline, you know, which species are threatened, and then which species are expanding to, which species are, are relatively safe from, from extermination. Can you tell me a little bit more about the process? Sure. Well, what we'll do is once we receive our sticky cards from our volunteers, we will, like you said, identify these species and then remove them from the sticky traps, place them in a certain tube, and we'll add some buffer and grind them up. And this process, what will happen with this process, is we'll remove all the tissue, cells, and everything and just keep our DNA intact. Now once we have our DNA intact, we will amplify a certain region of DNA um, and we will do this among individuals within a species and then we will compare, uh, we will compare that between what we find among species. 
Um, we will do that by running these analyses on, on a certain gel and looking at the patterns that we see uh, within individuals of a species and then among species. And by doing so, we will be able to determine which species are in decline and which species are expanding. Thank you for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out the additional information posted on our website. If you're already a member of the Buckeye Lady Beetle Blitz, thank you for your support. If you'd like more information about the program and are thinking about joining, check out our events calendar posted on the website for future upcoming events.